Hi, my name is Scott Viella of Viella Training, and today I have a full body workout plan for you guys using only one steel mace. Today I'm going to be using a 20 pound steel mace, and we're going to be working on full body here. So we're going to do today's first exercise, we're going to do a 360 into a ballistic curl squat. So how that's going to look, we're going to pick up the mace from the ball side, bring it down to the center line. So we got our feet about shoulder width apart, always keeping just that little brace in the knee. So my right hand's on top going over my left shoulder. So we're dumping it over that left shoulder, let it drag to the back, pulling down to the center line. We're gonna grab the mace with an underhand grip, bring it tight to the chest, going down onto our squat, back to the center line, slide the hand right here. Now we are set up to go over the opposite shoulder. So I have that left hand on top, so going over my right shoulder. So we're popping it up, let it swing through, pulling the hands, elbows down to the belly button, right hand, underhand grip, Bring it to the chest, tight, creating that tension in the mace. Squat, center line, over that opposite shoulder. Right hand on top, dump it over that shoulder, swing through, pull, underhand grip, tight to the chest, and squat. So for this one, really creating that tension in the mace, really feeling it when we're pulling it to the chest, feeling that tension in the upper body, feeling that core, control down into that squat. So we are gonna do 20 reps in total. So 20 squats in total. Let's set it up, everybody ready? Three, two, and one, let's go. Right hand on top, 360, one. Two. chest. Control that squat too. It's halfway. Finish it. And rest. Nice work. Grab some water if you need. Whew, I need some water after that one. So one thing to keep in mind too, I find everybody's squat pattern is a little bit different. But what I do find which works for most people, feet a little bit wider than the shoulder width, and then just pronating the toes out a little bit. That I find universally for most people that is the best type for a squat pattern. Some people like a little bit more narrow stance, toes facing forward, but I find for most people, a little bit of a wider stance, a little bit wider than shoulder width, toes just facing out a little bit. Do you feel pretty good with that? Whew, I feel good with that. Let's set up for our next exercise. Next one is gonna be a 360 into a reverse lunge. I'm gonna move my water bottle out of the way. So you're setting up, so here, 360, dump it over that left shoulder because that right hand's on top. 360, bottom hand, overhand grip, rowing past the body. As we do this, we're rowing on the left leg, so my right leg is gonna lunge back. So when we're lunging, really making sure toes are facing forward, chest is proud, core is tight. Now we're pushing off of that back foot, driving up, I'm punching up, down to the center line. Now my left hand's gonna be on top, going over my right shoulder. So 360, bottom hand, overhand grip. I'm rowing that mace past my body on the right side. My toes nice and straight. I'm stepping back, tap that knee down, or find that depth wherever you feel most comfortable depending on your range of motion. Tapping down for me, punching up, foot's down the center line. Now my right hand's on top. All right, we ready to go? Let's go three, two, and one, let's go. So another 20 reps for this, 10 each leg.
Take your time with it too. No need to rush this motion. So I believe that was 10 reps each side. I don't know about you guys, when I'm focusing on so many different things, focusing on my core being braced, proper stars, and pull down for the swing, and then adding in the lunge, sometimes I do find it a little bit harder to keep track of reps. Pretty sure that was 10 on each side. You can call me all around if it wasn't. I'll do some extra reps for you guys. So our next one, we're moving into a 360, into a lateral lunge. So same setup, right hand is on top, Going over the left shoulder, pop it up, hands behind the head, swing, pull. Now we're gonna grab the ball of the mace with an underhand grip. We are bringing it down. As we do that, we're gonna step out with the right leg, out to the side. Now for this part, I don't want you guys just to fall into it. I want you to really create tension in that mace, as always. And then as we're coming down, we are pushing our hips back as we are lunging. So hips are going back as we're lunging down. Then we're stepping to the center line. One thing to watch out for, when we are stepping to the center line, I don't want you guys to have a really narrow stance. So we have a narrow stance like this, and if we have a heavier steel base, it's gonna be so much harder to have that base. So once we come through from that step up to that center line, really make sure that those feet are both shoulder width apart. All right, we ready to roll. Right hand on top, left shoulder, pop, swing, Pull, bottom hand, underhand grip, stepping out with the right, hips back, tapping down, center line, shoulders apart. Now we're set up for the right shoulder. Pop, swing, pull, underhand grip, coming out, stepping back. Feel that tension on the mace. Tension. Feel that core as well when we're lunging down. Feel that core. So we're gonna do a steel mace, ballistic curl 360, 360 reverse lunge, 360 lateral lunge, putting them all into a complex. So just take a little bit longer rest, grab some water, chalk your hands up if you need. Whew. Oh. Yes, it is hot in here. I have my fans, and my air conditioning off, because you might have noticed in my last video, 
there's always some constant humming. That was the fans in the air conditioning. So today we just sweating it out. It is hot as hell in here. All right, I feel recovered. I'm ready to go. So starting out, we down that center line, right hands on top, dumping it over the shoulder, 360, underhand grip, squat, squat, 360. Next one, we have overhand grip. We're rowing down, lunge, center line, overhand grip, rowing down, core tight, lunge, center line, 360, bottom hand, underhand grip, step it out, tension. That's one. We're doing this for five. Two. Three, we've got two more. One. It's been a strong, you guys. And rest. Whew, grab some water if you need. I am sweating today. Oh. Oh. Very happy with this workout so far. So today I didn't have a lot of time because I've been back to back to back with clients. I have a quick half an hour to eat, work out, half an hour to eat, back to five more clients. So I gotta get in when I can. So this minute workout will be about 30 minutes, maybe even a little bit less depending on the rest time that you need. Whew. But a workout like this, you have zero excuses saying you have no time to get in a workout. Because literally, you can get a full body workout in 30 minutes or less. Oh, so a little bit longer rest. I'm gonna take advantage of it. If you feel that heart rate, rising, rising, rising. Breathe in through the nose. Hold that breath. Big exhale. In through the nose. Hold, hold, hold. Big exhale. When you do that slow, controlled breathing, you literally just feel that heart rate start to lower, 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 lower. All right, we feeling good. Let's set up for our next one. Another five reps of that whole complex. We setting up, right hand on top, left shoulder, three, two, and one, let's go. One.
Three, two more. One more time, let's do it. Finish it off. Tension that mace. And rest. Whew, that one felt good. So something about that complex there, um, slow down if you need to. If you're feeling like your form's getting sloppy, slow it down. Go, even don't need to do the complex. If you can't transition to move to move, there's no reason you should be doing a complex. Get the fundamentals that we did in the opener, so 360 squat, just do that for four sets. 360 lunge, do that for three, four sets. 360 lateral lunge, three, four sets, just of that. Until you feel comfortable doing every single exercise on their own, then you can move into a complex. Because if you're going through, and if you're going to those ladder lunges, and you're all over the place, and you're not properly bracing that core before you go into that next transition, then you shouldn't be doing it. Start with the simple things, then we can grow as we get more experience. Whew, take a little bit longer rest. We got one more time for this, you guys. So again, nice quick workout, getting our shit in and out. Then you go back to work, you go back to your kids, out to your friends all summer, you know, whatever you need to do. Literally zero excuses that you don't have time to get a workout in. Boo! Ready for the last one? Yeah, let's do it. Last one. Right hand on top. Let's go. Three, two, and one. 360, bottom hand, squat. Ooh, I'm feeling the end of this workout. That's one. Let's push the pace, you guys, by control. times you guys last one let's finish strong get ready for the rest of our day. So again, I can't stress this enough. If you say you have no time for a workout, I'm calling bullshit on you. No matter what, you got 30 minutes for yourself. Make yourself at least a priority, get your workout in. I'm Scott Viella, Viella Training, and I really hope you enjoyed this workout.